Hey guys, we are in Las Vegas at the AWFS. We are having a blast. We're gonna walk around this place. If you guys never been to a big woodworking show, that's what this is. This thing is one of the biggest in the world. I've been here once before, but it's been a long time. Ryan's brand new to kind of this uh, opulence when it comes to woodworking stuff. So uh, we're gonna walk around, try and find some cool stuff for you guys to look at, talk to some people, and uh, I think it's gonna be a blast. So stick with us and uh, enjoy. Hey guys, so here's something that I thought was super interesting as soon as I saw it. You get questions all the time, how do we dry our signs? Here's some racks that I think would work perfect, especially if you're batching out a bunch of signs, like you've got a bunch of stock signs that you're doing and you got 15 or 20 of them and you're batching them out. These racks I think would work perfect. They even have little things that you can put on here to keep the finish. If you put a, a polyurethane or something on them to keep that finish from, from uh, sticking to the bars. They've got bigger racks here, they've got smaller racks, but I think this thing is really, really cool. Not only that, but they actually make like a little spray booth. So if you're in a situation where you need absolute, um, you know, no uh, stuff flying around or whatever, we'll show you their little uh, portable spray booth that I think would work excellent. I think it would work really well. Hey guys, so we're at the Microjig booth. Microjig's got some great products. They actually have a blade cleaner that I've never seen before, and our buddy Ralph is gonna do a demo for us on the blade cleaner and actually a router bit cleaner as part of it. It looks like a really cool product. Uh, we met Ralph last year at the Kling Sport Show in Hickory, North Carolina. Super good dude, so check out this demo. It's really cool. Very few of us in our shops will wear out a carbide tooth. But when we start getting the burn marks, and we usually say to ourselves, oh, it must be, need to be sharpened. Most of the time it needs cleaning. And so with the blade clean, what happens is this dirt builds up on the edges of the teeth, and that's what's rubbing on your wood and causing the burning. So this blade is very sharp, but it's not very clean. So we provide you with a magnetic handle, so you can manipulate your blade. Inside the packet, inside the, uh, the blade clean, we have a Scotch-Brite pad, and this is going to sit right on top of that on the post. We're going to fill this with whatever cleaner you want to use. I like Simple Green and Water. Mix one to one. It works very well, but it's not to non-toxic. It's not caustic. It doesn't have bad fumes. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop this in, and I'm going to turn it backwards for the rotation of the tee. Just a couple of turns. And I'm going to flip this over, and I'm going to turn it backwards again. Just a few turns. If you're cleaning your blades regularly, this should take about 30 seconds. A couple of passes this way, a couple of passes that way. Dry it off, put it back in your saw, you're ready to cut. Quarter and half. Yep. And then I can, you can either use the brush that we give you, or we also provide you with this mandrel for a Dremel tool, and the cleaning discs come with it. These are the same Scotch Brite. So I can put this in my Moto tool and just clean my bits while they're held here. So I don't have to hold the bit and hope not to polish my fingernails that way. And obviously that's that's good for carbide. You don't have a it problem with that. It doesn't bother the carbide at all. Gotcha. In gotcha. fact, the only way you can sharpen carbide is with diamond. I know. Yeah. So um, <laughs> this comes with it. And these are great, by the way, if you have um, want to polish brass work on your projects or if you've got a little rust on one of your hand planes, this will clean it right off. They're excellent for restoration work. When you're done, everything pops to get back together. Obviously, you don't leave the router bits in there. And then it's ready to go. Lock it down, store it flat, 
and it's ready to go the next time. So on a weekend, Saturday morning, I can pull the blade out of my saw, clean it, get it back in there in about two minutes total cycle time, and I've got a clean blade for the whole weekend. All right, so you guys got to check this out. This is Brian with Safety Speed Manufacturing, and this is a freaking awesome pocket hole machine. Okay, well, uh, thanks, Ryan. And yeah, so we, um, we've been making this screw pocket machine for about the last eight years. Um, we've got quite a few different models, all the way from our entry-level model, mid-level to high production model that actually runs spindle motors in that machine over there. Okay. All with the same type of action that you're seeing right here in this machine. You know, really our, our key to our, our, our you know, being really good at this is that our, our design in here, um, so that we can basically make the pocket and make the, the pilot hole, which is a six degree pilot hole at the same time. So it really makes your joinery easy, right? And then in this particular machine, you can actually change your speed, right? So if you're doing a really hard solid wood, you can change that speed down so you get a good good pocket, you know, doing that piece. If you want something you're just doing a pine, you speed that up and have a have a pocket in less than a, about a half a second you have a pocket down for yourself. So cool. All air actuated. Um, it's always running here, so it's clutch driven. So as I hit my foot pedal, um, this one's just always activated right now, but hit my foot pedal and make one motion, right? Boom. Boom. Okay. So it's not air activated, it's just got a nice smooth uh, move right there for you. Gotcha. Awesome. Um, and then it's got a, on this particular unit, it's got a um, hydraulic clamp on the top here. So basically, our air clamp's going to come down and clamp your material on everyone, let it loose, and you can pop that in and out. It's got a web web change, so if you got a longer screw, you can just adjust your web based on right up there, down a quarter inch web, so different different screw sizes. And then of course you've got your easy mark line, right, for anything that you're doing to mark it. So you, you can know exactly where you're putting that pocket for that joinery. And then we get down to this one, we had such a high demand where people wanted this more entry level, $1,500 product price. You got, you know, your manual clamp, quick clamp for you. Yeah. Um, and then it's just one easy, nice motion. You make your pocket, come back, drill your hole, boom, you're done, right? You've created this right here. Oh, nice pocket, nice joinery. All right, man, that's that is so cool. that's a heck of a machine. That's really cool. How long has this one been out? Uh, this one's been about uh, two and a half years now. Okay. I think we released it at, at this show two years ago, I guess it was. All right. Show. And what's the retail on this machine? Uh, this is fifteen ninety nine. Really? Don't be too many pocket holes at pays for itself. It does. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yep. So you can get it right at safetyspeed.com where we where we manufacture sell stuff on there. So you can get it right at that site. All right. Put a link in the description below for the safety speed manufacturing and everything's made in the U.S., right? In the U.S., right? Up everything's Minnesota, in the U.S. Right? Yeah. Awesome. So Brian, problem. appreciate it, man. No problem. Thank All you. All right. Guys. Thank you so much. Yeah. Appreciate it, buddy. And we're at the Spring Tools booth. This is something, uh, such a unique tool. I have never seen these before. They're American made, and uh, we're gonna let Keith kind of show you what this stuff is. Hi, Spring Tools are a spring-operated cameraless technology. Basically what we've done is we've taken a center punch or a uh, nail set and wrapped a spring around it. So rather than whacking something with a hammer, we just stretch a spring and release. This is the self-centering center punch. So when you pull it back, it will automatically center because of the taper in a bracket or a hinge. And so when you do this, and you push down, automatically centers, you pop it, and it's exactly in the middle. Not even the sales guy can screw it up, right? That is the self-centering center punch. We also have nail drivers and nail sets. So you take your 18 gauge brad, put it upside down there, pop it, pop it, pop it. Wow. You're there, but your nail gun never does that to you, does it? No, so you take your set, you put it on there and you grab it, and you pop it, pop it, pop it, and you're even. Back to That's flush. that. Yeah. You want to countersink it? We've got a countersink. You just put it on there, push down, 
pop it, it's countersunk. Same thing with the nail set and center punch. You can set the nail here, or you can center punch metal. Retail on this is somewhere in the $90 range. We've got wood chisels, we've got uh, high-speed steel center punches. Here's the hinge pin tool. This, every painter in the land wants one of these. If they don't have it and they don't know it yet, he wants one. Because what this does is you've got a hinge, especially the lower hinge. You just pop that and out she comes. Clever. You need to replace it, you just reverse the process. No hammers, no double tap, no marring of substrate, no marring of skin. Yeah. You've never hit your thumb with a hammer, have you? Um, not today. Not today. Okay. Well, me neither, because I don't have a hammer. You can buy a lot of this stuff in your in your local hardware store, oh, really? uh, your local paint retailer, um, those places. Appreciate it. Thanks. Thanks so much, uh -huh. man. That was awesome. Thank you. Appreciate it. Tremendous. guys so there it is again if you've never been to this show you got to come check it out there's some crazy stuff here there's some machinery that costs more than my house it's insane but everybody was super cool we had a blast and if you guys have any questions about anything you saw I'll put links in the description below and as always guys you can email me Ryan at makeawoodsign.com we'll see you guys on the next one